नमस्कार हार्टी वेलकम टू आल नॉलेज सीकर्स टू मई चानल दिस्ज डाक्टर मधुसूदन राव कड़प इन दिस वीडियो ई एम गोयिंग टू एक्सप्लेन कैंडा नोटेशन टू रेप्रसेंट ए क्यूइंग मॉडल इन अर्लियर वीडियो ई हेव एक्सप्लेन अबउट दि क्यूइंग पैरामीटर्स Q discipline, queuing characteristics, and some other theoretical concepts related to queuing. Now, in this video, I am going to explain different models in queuing theory and how the Kendall's notation is used to represent a queuing model. So, in general, a queuing model is designated. in this form a slash b slash c colon d slash e slash f this is the designation of any queuing model now let us see what this a b c d e represent a and b these two letters represent the probability distribution of the inter arrival times as well as service times so the inter arrival times as well as service time inter arrival time or service time distributions suppose the inter arrival times follow poisson distribution poisson pattern or exponential distribution and similarly the service time also follows exponential distribution in such case we use m to denote a as well as for b where m represents the markovian process where the inter arrival time may follow either poisson or exponential distribution and service time also follows exponential distribution in coming to c this represents the number of servers parallel servers which will provide the same kind of service and this c equal to 1 if it is a single server model or else we will keep c as it is if it is a multi server model then d is the service discipline that means how we will take the customers to provide a service in which order as i explained earlier we have first come first served that is whoever enters the queuing system first will be given first preference for the service or last come first served or service in random order like this we may follow any one of these service disciplines next e represents the system capacity the system capacity on accommodating number of customers system capacity this system capacity may be finite or infinite if the system has a limited capacity then we will express it by n where n express the number of customers which the system can accommodate or if there is no ban or no restriction on the number of customers in the queuing system at any point of time then it may be taken as infinite and f represents the calling population or the source from which customers are generated this may also be finite or infinite let us use some different notation yum it may be finite or infinite so accordingly we can designate a queuing model in this fashion for example if it is a single server queuing model we will denote it as m slash m slash 
where the inter arrival time and service time follows exponential distribution it's a single server and uh, queuing discipline is first come first served and uh, no restriction on the capacity of the system as well as no restriction on the number of customers so for inf infinite customer base and infinite service capacity this is a model single server model and suppose if there are multiple servers then we can designate multi server model like this m slash m slash c colon fcfs slash infinite slash infinite so for a infinite calling population and a infinite service capacity server capacity in first come first served a discipline with multiple servers this is the designation suppose if the model follows exponential inter arrival and service times distributions with single server with first come first served queue discipline and uh, limited capacity maybe m with the infinite calling population then it can be designated like this similarly if the calling population is finite with a single server first come first served service discipline with infinite service capacity suppose the number of customers is limited to m then we can designate it like this in some other case if the service time follows erlang distribution with k stages then we can designate it like this for a infinite calling population and infinite service capacity with first come first served queue discipline inter arrival times following exponential distribution or poisson process and uh, service times following erlang distribution so this is how we can uh, designate different types of queuing models thank you very much in some other video i will give the mathematical relations for the queuing parameters that is uh, first basically p not that is probability of having no customer in the system or otherwise probability of an idle server next probability of having n customers in the system denoted by pn rho the traffic intensity or you may otherwise call uh, utilization factor that means the proportion for which the servers are busy then ls expected number of customers in the queuing system lq expected number of customers in the queue ws average time spent by the customer in the queuing system and wq average waiting time of a customer in the queue so the formula for different parameters for these models will be explained in some other video thank you very much